Has Magnus returned? No, he was out all night and he did not return yet. Dwilia got worse. Sometimes it seems to me that he... that he is already... But then I listen to his breathing and... Modred, he will live. Magnus will definitely be back. Here's what we'll do. You will stay with your son and take care of him. I'll try to figure out which fruit Magnus is searching for. And I'll try to find this fruit too. Of course, of course, it's a good idea. The two of you have a better chance of finding whatever it is to save my boy. I just need to find some records of Magnus about the habitats of this healing fruit. Maybe Magnus left them in his desk. I need to find the key to the desk.
Hello. I'm looking for such runes. Do you have a similar one? Interesting. I saw one just like this in my grandmother's stuff as a child. I often played with it, but I thought it was just a beautiful smooth stone. Well, if you need it, then I can give it to you. I don't think it's particularly valuable. If we talk about the cost, no, it's not. But you would help me very much. Okay, I'll look for it. Can you help me as well? Usually Mardred's boy brings me milk every day, but today he didn't come. Please, bring me a jug from the tavern. I brought milk. Did you manage to find the rune? Oh, thank you. Yes, I found it. It hadn't changed even slightly from how I remember it from my childhood.
is a figurine of Rakha Emerald Skin, a Dragonoid Prophetess, one of the heroes who stopped the Grey Overlord.
It looks like this is the Karia tree, but I need its fruit juice, which means that I need to take it very carefully. I saw a suitable tool in the Miller's barn. I should rather get back to the town as soon as possible and give Dwilier the juice of the Kadia tree fruit to drink. Now he will be all right. He will get better. He just needs to rest. Yes, I also need a rest. Leonore had to solve more and more complex tasks, but she did not lose heart. She saved the tavern owner's son through her perseverance. Her well-deserved rest was interrupted by the sound of bells and the acrid smell of smoke. <laughs> 